about that my startup form is not the one that I intended uh, so if y the situation is just the same as like what you see I execute and I get this form I don't need this one so what happens is you go to your form you right click on it go to properties uh, after going to properties y this tab opens up so you just change here the startup form you change to form 2 then you have to save it so the next time you're going to execute form 2 will appear and what happens uh, you see we're successful what happens is from our database we have Yui as the start one and Oka, C, Noah, Duncan, Snap, Tate, K so you come back to the uh, to our form that we have executed and you can see uh, uh, you can see that um, we've been successful I've um, achieved what I wanted I wanted to populate this uh, combo box so if I write uh, if I click on this combo box the drop down menu the drop down menu will show all of the uh, usernames within the database so I believe this is all that we have and the good thing this is all that we have username this is all that we have right so now we want to work on our update we want to say if you is selected and then the password is punched in and the button is clicked then uh, the user has to be the user's password has to be uh, re, re updated so what we're going to do is uh, let me close all these from one two okay I'll come to double click double click this one and then again um, like the insert button like the insert code it's almost similar in the sense that you would just have to declare everything and take the insert code take the try catch and just the only difference double click here and paste after I paste uh, we have uh, some few errors let me correct that text box one text box one and all these they're not part of it and all this they're not part of it if then if then and if and if so if the text box one is empty then this message box is supposed to show else uh, everything is the same as the insert method but here we just say want to change a few things like the message box supposed to show a message such as uh, updated like that and then our command text has to change our command text has to change so here it's going to be update update what update person update our table which value then update table set update table then set which value then set password all we need is the password set password value update table set password instead of value is it, it comes out to to equal sign update table set password equal to txt the same way we did it previously and let me delete all this all this uh, update person set password equal to txt one dot text right we have to to filter our 
or parameters why where sh when how should uh we said uh should the program know to say the password so what what we'll have to add on is set password from txt where where what then where um username rather since we have populated our combo box using using um since we uh, will have populated our combo box using the sim s or the username so you check here you come here the combo box is combo box one you know I'm running out of power you can see ah so it's update patient set password to text box one as compared to set password take the value from text box one to text where use a name equal to combo box one dot text so with this code I believe if I give you a second you will see exactly what I've just typed so let's execute it uh, we want to change uh, the password for Yui and we want to make it uh, be mad like that then update and then updated and go to our database we execute again and as you can see the username Yui his password has been changed to mad or let's say uh, trees let's go for Donald Cassie let's change his password to something else so right now it's Donald Cassie the username is all Cassie and the password is user we go to our to our form select okasi then we change it to ningi then we press update it's been updated and after being updated we go to the database we refresh the database and as you can see donald kasi okasi the username and the password has been changed from user to ningi so well i can say for today that's it and thank you for watching Thank you.